So this is a basic overview on how to control the flow rate in a device. So I'm gonna go over the system and just show you the, the very basic needs if you wanna control your flow rate in some little device. We're gonna use a coreless engine for demonstration purposes because this is special to our company here. But it's just a fun, cool little device to show off. It used to run on steam, now it runs on compressed air. So if I do a quick overview of our system, Coming in on the yellow line here, we have our shop air. This is at 120 PSI at our shop, of course an on-off valve. And then a little filter here. This isn't mandatory, but it's just good practice uh, whenever you have a device that's gonna have some critical components in it. We have filtering in our shop air here, but this is just gonna give us an extra layer of protection to make sure that no little debris goes into our device. You never know when you're hooking up, maybe connecting or disconnecting airlines. You might get a little piece of debris in there just because the system's open, right? So we got our filter first. Next, we go into a regulator. This is gonna drop the pressure down from 120 PSI down to 20 PSI. And then on this end, we have a needle valve. A needle valve you can think of as a variable orifice if you want. There's, there's a hole and a little pin in there that'll go in and out, and that will be able to adjust our flow rate. So then as, as we do that, we're gonna see this the engine change speed here. So let me turn the valve on and uh, you'll see it run. We'll give it a little start. So we're gonna see this thing run. It's pretty neat, right? There, the air's coming in, it's going all the way up to the top and then running the engine. And let's just see what RPM we're at here. Tachometer here. So we're at about 65 RPM right now. We're gonna go and we're gonna adjust this needle valve. So I'm gonna adjust the needle valve in. That's gonna reduce the flow rate. Let's get a good adjustment here. So we slowed that down. Let's get a reading on the tachometer here. So when we bring that needle in, it's gonna increase the restriction on the hole and then slow down our hole speed. So we went from, well, we got 64 RPM, now we're down to 52 RPM here. All right, let's take another go at it here. We're just gonna adjust this. And again, this could be any device. And if you know what you're looking for in your device, you can use a needle valve to achieve your exact outcome. You can see this engine's really getting slow here. Let's see if I can get a reading on the RPM. It's gonna keep running for me at some point. We won't be supplying enough air for it to keep running. This is a 35 RPM here. Let's see if we can get one more slower adjustment on there just for fun here. All right, that's pretty slow. You can see it's having a hard time running. I don't know if I'm gonna get a reading on the tack. Yes, it's just not fast enough for the tack, but you can see we're really crawling here, so no reading there. But you can see just by changing um, the effective orifice size here on the needle valve, We've controlled how fast the engine's running, and this is the very basics to how to control flow rate in your system. I'm John Hayden at AirLogic. Thanks for sticking around and learning about how to control flow rate in your system.